I want to say something and um, I feel a bit nervous saying it and I just need, I feel like I need to get off my chest. But I don't actually think dogs are that into going to cafes. I know. I've said it. I know before you start sending all that sort of hate mail, you know, or you putting attack dogs on me. I just want you to know, I, I actually do like dogs. I have my own dog. This here is um, not my dog. It's not actually. It's not actually my dog. It's a borrowed dog. I found it here, but it's really cute, so I'm patting it. But yeah, there's one over there. There's another dog over there. But you know it. I don't know, there's this trend of people, like more and more people bringing their dogs to cafes. Um, I don't think dogs are really into it. I don't, I don't think if dogs, dogs don't wake up and go, take me to the cafe, can't wait to get down and get a little bit of a doggy chino, can't wait a little bit of a latte. I actually think dogs would rather be on the beach or rolling in toads or, you know, sort of humping people's legs or, you know, eating their own vomit. I think that's more what a dog would prefer to do. I, I think, uh, to me, the, the cafe, is actually strictly human habitat. And I don't know what at what point we started thinking we should take the dogs to the cafe, but it's become such a social trend. In fact, I think people actually do get dogs just to bring them to the cafe so they fit in with everybody else they have a dog. Although you notice nobody ever brings their ugly dog to the cafe. They always bring, you know, they're attractive because you don't bring your ugly children or your ugly dog to the cafe. You bring nice dogs because people, if you can't interact, they'll come and pat your dog and then they'll think you're nice because you've got a nice dog. But, you know, and I know there's another shocking thing too, which people who love dogs like me don't realise, is that some people don't like dogs. And actually when they're having their breakfast, maybe they don't want to see your dog um, licking his furry little balls while he's there trying to eat your bacon. I don't know, but I, I think that's, that's part of the thing. Oh, you're a good dog, you a good dog, dog gets you a good dog. But I just wonder where it's going to stop, you know, this whole cafe dog shit. You know, and that's the other thing, you end up with shit everywhere. Nobody around here likes picking it up because who, who likes rules? But, you know, at what point, uh, you know, what else are they going to do? Are they going to start driving? You know, are we going to allow dogs to go to strip clubs? I suppose there's already poles there for them to piss on, you know, or even tie them to. Uh, are, are they going to start, you know, hanging out at music festivals? Dogs will actually start, you know, I don't know, flying overseas, having a, a passport, getting around. I mean, this whole dogs and cafes thing, as you start it, as you start giving them the freedom, pretty soon the dogs will be in the cafes and we the humans will be sitting in the cars. You have to be very careful. And I don't think it's queer's going to stop. Like, it's not going to stop just at dogs. You know, why just, why not bring your cat? Why not bring your dog and your cat and your budgie out for a coffee? Uh, why not inflict your entire pet menagerie on the rest of the clientele? I've seen the look of the poor, the poor you know, the shop owners, you know, who look suitably unimpressed when people bring their unrestrained animals into the, into the cafe. The other day I was up at a cafe, up in the hills somewhere, and, and someone's toddler walked past a small, snappy, cranky little old dog, which snapped, you know, and, and at the child, and the owner said, sorry, he's usually not vicious. Usually not vicious, like occasionally he snaps, occasionally he just members a child. But look, it's a once a year thing. It's not like you expect to see a human child every time you go out. So the occasional dismembering is okay because he's not usually vicious. <laughs> That's a very strange statement. Anyway, so I'm all for bringing your own pet to, to the cafe. I've seen the bloke with his llama. <laughs> I'm going to bring my own chicken next time. All right. Here you go, Eco. Look what I got you. Yeah, little baby coffee. Yeah, you wanted a coffee. There you go. Yeah, good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Hey, coffee, you wanted to come here. Come on. I don't think he's that into it. Oh, that's good. Oh, God. <laughs> and when you, this is what you do when your dog does have a mishap, you leave. 